This video describes an Excel file with uh, staking plans in for staking a percentage of your betting bank. This is a betting sheet. I'll describe a laying sheet in a moment. So these are the inputs. Uh, that's the percentage of your bank that you uh, want to, to bet. That's the size of your bank. Input those. And that's your commission in Betfair. Input the date in that column, the details of your runners or your football matches in that column. Input your betting odds. And in this column, if it's a winner, put a 1 in. If it loses, put a 0 in. And these are the, the bet stakes, which will be 10% of your bank. That first one, for instance, is at 10 is 10% of 100 of course and uh, your profit if you hit a winner is shown there and if you hit a loser uh, it's showing a loss there. These are your profits and losses as your trading progresses and this is the, the state of your bank. It goes up if you hit a winner of course and down if you hit a loser. Now down here on the right there is a graph and that is of this column here of your different uh, profits and losses added together and um, as you as you add add more results, this this graph will continue, and it goes down. There are, there are 50 lines of input in this file, and it go it covers all 50 lines, and your your profit or loss is shown on the right there. So that's that's in pounds, and these are just the number of lines down. So to clear the spreadsheet, just delete columns A to D, what was in there, and then. Start by inputting your date. You can use a slash. So if you want the 5th of June, put 5 slash 6. And that will give you the 5th of June. 6th of June will be 6 slash 6. Saves a bit of typing. Put the details of your runner in there. Horse 1, horse 2 or whatever. And um, we'll put some odds in of evens to keep things nice and simple. And you can see there we've got a stake of 10, which is 10% of our bank. Now if that loses, our next runner... would be uh, and put his odds in there two again and we, we can see our our bank has gone down now because that is 10 percent of our current bank at the line above which is 90 so that's, now if that wins if that had won of course that would go up it would be 1095 so it's always 10 percent of whatever your bank is in the line above so if you're just doing one race at a time that's okay. If you want to do more than one race at a time just leave the date out. So if you were doing some football matches for instance on the 7th of June and you do team one, team A rather and you do some more teams. All, they're all kicking off at the same time and you, you put the odds in again. So you know, one, sorry two and I'll put them all in at evens just to keep it nice and easy and you can see that if, if we don't put the date in after the first one the, the stake is all kept at the same level so it's all 10% of what's above on the line above the first one now once you start another so you can go away and you can, they can all run at the same time uh, with the same stake on that particular day or um, if you're at work or something you might want to put the bet a few things at once and once you know the results of those put the results in you can leave it blank for a, a, a loss or or a, um, or a zero for a loss put a few winners and losers in and and as, as you do that your, your graph uh, records these in uh, profits and losses in column G and once you put your next date in, the 8th of June for instance, and put another another runner in of, of some kind, and put some odds in, you see that the stake will update to 10% of, of that on the line above. So put some odds in of 2 again. And that is now 13.01 is 10% of that 130. So by leaving the date out there, keeps your stakes all the same if you want to do some um, trades all at, the, all at the same time. Once you put the date in, everything updates and you carry on as normal with 10% of your bank. Okay, let's look at the lane sheet. That's a, almost exactly the same. Now here we are in the lane sheet. You can tell that by the uh, the pink 
background behind the staking. Now the inputs are just the same again, there's your percentage of your bank, and that's your bank, and that's your commission. Uh, but if we're laying, um, if, we're, if we were to lay 10% of our bank, and uh, especially if we're using some large stakes, say we're doing that one at odds of 10 or something, now if we hit a, hit a winner, we would have payout, and uh, we would lose nearly all our bank, we would lose 90 in that example. So it may be best to um, set that at uh, 2 or something like that, and that reduces the staking right down, so you're only laying £2. So if you happen to be betting at quite big odds or even medium sized odds, um, any loss won't uh, eliminate your bank. So this, this is ideal for maybe laying something in the place market for horse races or something else that uh, maybe at quite short odds, some favourites or, in, or something like that. Right, so it works exactly the same. Input your um, your dates, your teams or whatever you're trading, your odds and as you input your odds you get your stakes and input your zero for a lose and one for a win, hitting a winner and your bank will go up and down just as before and if you want to lay several at the same stake if you're going to work or something or they're all running at the same time uh, just put your first date in and leave the other two blank and it will update the next time you input another date and put some more odds in and it's jumped up to 207 there Okay, so that's the lane sheet. Now if we wanted to dutch some horses for instance, or maybe some football scores, we would need to input some odds here, well a date, and some odds to see what the next stake is. So if we just put any old odds in, in there, the stake will be 1097 for the next lay in this example. So if we were to dutch some, some horses or something, our total stake would need to be 1097, then we can input the odds of whatever they are, say, I don't know, 2.5 or something, and then we will be laying at those odds with that stake. So we need to remember £10.97 in this example, if we're doing some dutching, that's the total stakes that we want to lay. Okay, so we can go then to our combined odds, and uh, input the odds of our horses, we would put the names of our horses down there, or our football scores in this case, and we'd put, say we put odds of 4, 6, 8 and 10 in there. That would give us combined odds there, look, of 1.56. Now also shown here are the individual percentages of those odds, so odds of 4 is 25%, odds of 6 is 16.67, and your total book percent of those added together in that column there is shown there and that comes out a combined odds for those odds added together of 1.56 so if you're doing some dutching, if we go into a dutching sheet now and we put in the names of our runners into the sheet and put our, our lay odds in of 4, 6, 8 and 10 we, we, we would need to adjust our staking to get 10.97 at the bottom there that's those all those stakes added together. So if we, if we had a, something else in there of 20 or something, uh, it, it we wouldn't have a total stakes of 10.97 with those added together. So on this particular sheet, we'd have to put in 17.1 whatever, and and that, those added together then become 10.97. So if we then go ahead and place those lays at those odds we will have laid our total 1097 which is what we had in our couple dot sheet sorry in our lay sheet and we were laid we would have laid at, at odds of 156 so we can go ahead and put our lays in and put our odds in of 1.56 there and uh, if we don't hit the winner with our lays we pick up we have successful days of 1097 and if we hit a winner our payout would be six pound and we'll make a loss of six pounds and 14 altogether now that should be the same there we are as our lane dutching sheet so if we hit a winner with any one of those any one of those lays at those odds 
we would lose six pound and thirteen pence. So that is reflected in where we've just been in our staking plan. So you can do some dutching. Make sure you get get the stake, the total stake there for your dutching sheet. Go to your combined odds. Put your odds in. Get the odds of those combined. Put your lays in in Betfair once you've got the total stakes correct that match that, and then you can put the put your your race in with the odds that you got from the combined odds sheet of 156. There we are. So that's just an extra facility uh, connected to this staking plan. You may not uh, have any use for that, but uh, personally, I I do a bit of dutching now and again. So uh, it may come in handy at some time. Okay, so that's uh, a betting sheet and a laying sheet for staking a percentage of your betting bank. Okay, thanks for listening and good luck with your trading.